learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. Uh, holotropic circular breath, uh, it's the breath uh, uh, without uh, the gap between breath in and breath out. Uh, um, the breath between, uh, without the gap between uh, the breath out and breath in. So uh, you, breath, you breath circular, like uh, you skip this gap, that's the name of this gap. So if it would be slow, uh, you do it. If it's fast, you do it. Whatever it feels good for you in any uh, moment of uh, this massage, you focus on the breath. Uh, so holotropic breath, uh, circular breath is used uh, in the rebirth uh, uh, breath work. Uh, uh, and just by uh, breathing in that way, you can go into the higher dimensions of uh, your being. Uh, uh, you can feel uh, different experiences. Uh, uh, so yes, that's one great uh, benefit of uh, doing it. Uh, and then the second uh, intention of doing it is uh, uh, that uh, your uh, receiver is focused on here and now. Uh, she's focused on the breath instead of uh, oh what he's doing uh, is it working why does it, uh, I do not feel anything uh, so, so when she's here and now she can be much more uh, deeper into the experience when she is busy with her mind with whatever thoughts uh, maybe shopping or uh, something else uh, she uh, is distracted so basically this massage works uh, best uh, when uh, we are into perceiving mind, into the healthy mind, uh, uh, like observing here and now, uh, rather than in the mind uh, what it's like, uh, yes, uh, uh, thinking about something. So, so, so it's a bit challenge to do a great presentation uh, uh, when I still have to explain to you. So, so yes, uh, but we will see how it will flow. So uh, I will guide you how it goes, what we do. So. Um, so, of course, when she would be in the process, uh, she would forget about this uh, uh, circular breath, but whenever she would uh, be here, uh, uh, if her consciousness more, uh, then uh, uh, she, the intention is, okay, come back to the focus, this holotropic breath. So, uh, we start the, the massage, uh, like, uh, uh, always with the opening ritual, uh, I will go through uh, it uh, very uh, quickly, symbolically, basically, because uh, you can see on the most of uh, my massage videos that it is. Uh, so uh, I connect with myself. I ask for whatever I want to ask at this moment. I wrap my palms together again. I move them wide apart. And then I allow them to come close to each other. They're close to each other. We have beautiful energy of unconditional love, universe and the nature to flow to us, to guide us, to allow us to be a channel that the love may circulate from the nature, from the universe, to our body, to the body of the receiver, to our being, to other being, to our heart, to other hearts. We wrap our palms together again. Mm -hmm. 
and then we open our eyes. It's really nice with your breath. And we can't breathe in and we can from the heart to the crown. And slowly I start massaging all the body to make the body familiar with the touch, to make the touch familiar with the body. go into the massage. So um, most of the strokes what we do uh, is uh, on the spine basically. We work on the spine. Those are like around the spine there are chakras there and uh, so we work mainly on the chakras. So uh, we do most stroke is like just Float in your palms along the spine. Another uh, moves what we do, uh, like working on the chakras. So uh, mainly you work on the second and fourth chakra, so the navel and the heart. But you can work on any, whatever it feels. And uh, another stroke you could see, uh, like from yesterday, you pull the energy up and we throw, however it feels. So those uh, are the main strokes. And we use a lot of triggers. Yes, yeah, so it's full body orgasm without touching massage, but uh, uh, actually, there is a little bit of touch. So one of the most intimate touch is uh, just the uh, eight on the breast, on the outside part of the breast. Also for men? So another trigger, yes, for both. Going with your fingers along the shushuna and then usually we do it three times in Tantra on that level. Placing your palm on the, any of the chakras can be also the two. the movement school uh, the tendency is that uh, we always bring the energy down at the beginning of the massage down uh, yes uh, we are all out in our head uh, at the beginning and we like to bring the energy to the body And for the same reason, to bring the energy to the body, especially at the beginning, we work a lot on the very energetical yoni, very energetical linga. So imagine that you massage the yoni actually with the energy. Oh. 
Was it to awaken the energy? Um, you may do at the beginning the trigger. Uh, you place yourself uh, like with your wrist on the pubic bone. You do the shaking. You may press a little hard, yeah? Blank. All the plants are related to them. Chakras. So where can you can play already both directions? Both directions, up and down, however it feels. Yeah. Also under the crease, uh, oh. the other side, other oh. side of the leg. So all these uh, triggers are to awaken the neck. You use them more at the beginning when the energy is already awakened that you may work just with the energy to go back and use it now in the game, sometimes. Figure on the floor. You press harder, place between the eyebrows a little bit above. You may always imagine like this elastic ball, the energy flowing through your right palm to the left palm, through her body. with different polarities. Mm -hmm. 
it's a main point uh, on the upper part of the ear. It's a spirit point. The temple on the side of the eye. Also do like movement like waves. Massaging the inner thighs with a slight touch. Sometimes when you feel uh, to increase your energy, you might do two pumps. All the triggers uh, what we use in other massage sometimes.
Bindu Pond. Wow. It's really good at the end. Wow. So with this massage, especially when you do the session, when you finish, when you feel to finish, Especially when you are intimate with the person. Hold the palm and you really look into the person's eyes. And the first thing that she will go out from the bliss or from the experience is your loving eyes that you have. That's the way to close it this time. To let the person to adjust. Let it out. Let it out. Let it all out. Yes, let it go. Go deep into the field. Let it out. Let it out. One second, forever. Let it go. Let it go. Go into it. Feel it. Feel it. Yes. <laughs>
Blessings forever. Let it all go. Thanks uh, to uh, Spaniel a bit. Uh, 
basically in the person is uh, triggered by something, some of your touch, some of your moves. Uh, you don't uh, run away from this move, uh, you don't uh, uh, stop, uh, you keep that move. That's why I like, uh, like trigger happened when I was holding her hand, which is another trick that I would explain before. And uh, uh, you keep holding the palm to the all the list of the emotions because that's what mostly you get. Yes, and you play with other triggers as well. So uh, you keep triggering, uh, yes, uh, the person to the list. Uh, it is very important uh, to realize that uh, with, uh, always with the intention of love. Uh, and uh, playing with Tantra is like playing with fire, it's a bit burn a uh, big time uh, if you do it uh, with no intentions. Uh, uh, energetical massage by itself is uh, uh, very safe, it's a good approach, uh, especially for the uh, people who are uh, uh, close uh, for the uh, physical touch, that gives us opportunity to feel a lot of wounds that they can uh, open up for the physical touch. Those are most uh, of the people who really need this healing. So, uh, um, yes, uh, this gives us opportunity. Also, yes, so basically the, the energetical touch, it can never go wrong, but the intention of the person uh, can go wrong. So uh, there are some people who bring the person to the bliss state and to this uh, uh, full body orgasm experience and they uh, use this uh, moment when the, the, woman, uh, the, the uh, person, the woman is in the bubble and they uh, uh, abuse the situation and they push for uh, the things which uh, were not agreed at the intake. So uh, they uh, even, uh, yes, uh, abuse the situation that the woman is not conscious excited and they uh, uh, penetrate and that's uh, yes uh, so uh, and this goes completely wrong it's uh, whatever we do will come back to you so yes uh, always do it with very good intentions that's very important uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, uh,